All right, so recently I picked up a pair of sneakers from StockX right here. Basically, I placed a bid and forgot about it, and the market adjusted, and all of a sudden I got a pair shipped to my house. So stoked about it, though, because it was the price that I wanted to pay. And that's kind of the best thing about StockX sometimes is being able to set the price that you're willing to pay. And if the market shifts, then that's what the price that you're going to be paying instead of having to pay that extra 100 bucks or, or so on a pair of sneakers that maybe you were just waiting on for that special price. So got that and a couple of just other random packages here that I figured I'd show you in this video. Yo, what is going on guys? Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys haven't used my website before, check it out in the description. Basically, I just curate a bunch of sneaker deals that I find for you guys through the weeks. As I mentioned, I got something from StockX over here, but first, got a mystery package. I actually didn't open it. I opened the box, and then I saw the name, and I was like, oh man, I'll just wait to open this package. Because honestly, I didn't want to have to repackage it in here for a video, but it's from Many Worlds, and it is a, uh, this is a cool box, first of all. And you can see, this is the paper in the box. Has a little note in here as well. Uh, has kicks. We appreciate your partnership with Rejuvenator so much that we wanted to send you a few gifts with our very first brick and mortar location in Phoenix. We've also launched a new brand, Many Worlds. We would love it if you can share with your followers and provide them a promo code to the website, manyworldsclothing.com. Has kicks 15 is the code. Welcome to our world. Thank you to Many Worlds for sending over the care package. Johnny uh, down there running things, I believe, and uh, uh, Genesis as well. Always holding it down. I gotta get down to uh, Arizona again when things go uh, a little bit, I guess, in a better direction than the way they've been. A hoodie right here, as you can see. Love this, and it says across the pocket, all is possible. Great details on that hoodie right here. They also sent over a beanie, as you can see here. Another great color. Oh man, they sent a bunch of stuff. So they also sent a bunch of t-shirts too. So there's a Many Worlds white tee right here. This one's another nice one, Many Worlds right here. And another nice one right here. It says, uh, the truth has sharp teeth. I like that. That's a nice look to that one as well. Great products from the team though. I appreciate you guys for sending this over, man. And uh, I'll be wearing this stuff in my videos. Again, check the link in the description. I'll link to their site and then also use my code HASKICKS15 for 15% off of your order. And if you're in Phoenix, you gotta go check out the shop and Rejuvenator headquarters is right there as well. So definitely worth a look. But I uh, appreciate you all for sending that over. And I ended up getting uh, something here from the Monday program from Kith. They had about 10,000 different colors of hoodies if you didn't see recently. Yeah, this is the Pyramid um, hoodie right here. So box logo hoodie, nothing crazy, but uh, really heavy weight as well. Nice quality on this. $165 at retail on this. This is a pretty heavy weight. Two really nice colored hoodies though right here with the Many Worlds and then also the Kith. But this Kith one uh, is a, just a personal one I got for myself. Kind of liked it so I was like might as well uh, grab that one. I do have like a, the Battleship colorway already and I think it's probably the same one as that. But uh, I need to uh, pull that out of a storage bin because I haven't even worn it yet. I'm terrible. Anyway, what you guys came here for, StockX. All right, so this is what I got from StockX, and I, again, totally forgot I put in a bid uh, for this box right here. And lo and behold, uh, we got them for $373.42. No uh, taxes. Do you guys pay taxes on StockX? I actually don't even know. Drop a comment and let me know, because Oregon doesn't have sales tax, so uh, that's good. And for those people like that, so you're, you're so lucky, uh, don't forget, I pay like property tax up the backside, and I have... A couple of properties, there's no sales tax, but man, I'm still um, paying for it in the long run, I guess. Anyway, 373, there's a processing fee of $10.47 and shipping is $13.95, uh, which is too bad. But uh, the price that I was willing to pay was at 350 and then of course add the extra fees. But this is what we got. And I like the fact, first of all, if you didn't see Purple Box, nice there. I don't, I don't have any other SBs in a Purple Box, so this is the first one of that. But we have an Atmos uh, colorway right here of the Nike SB. Skateboarding is the SB for those that didn't know. And I always call it the Nike Dunk SB for some reason. Way back in the day, I always called it the Nike Dunk SB, even though it was a Nike SB. I don't know. I'm, I'm always messing things like that up. But, uh, but you know my heart is in the right place. This is a Dunk Low Pro fat tongue on here. And, uh, ooh, look at that. We got them verified with the StockX tag. No fake ones here. This one's actually attached. But this uh, this is actually really an interesting looking shoe in hand. It's pretty good quality. Box price, I don't know what it was because there's no box price 
uh, listed on my box. Obviously, if you didn't know, the theme color is like Atmos inspired uh, off of a pair of Air Maxes. But, uh, but I like that they have the elephant print uh, along the front section and then also on the wings in the back. Then you also have a little bit of it underneath the Nike logo that's embroidered in blue. That blue is also on the front of the tongue and on the insole and on the bottom of the shoe. So it's a really nice accent color. The swoosh also has that blue as you can see here, but this is actually done in like a blue patent leather, which is a really nice detail to the shoe that makes it pop quite a bit. You got some white leather on the toe box here where the perforation is. And that's all the white leather on the upper, with exception of the midsole. You have the white midsole and then the black midsole on the bottom. And then underneath the swoosh right here and where the laces come together, along with the little panel on the back of the heel, is done in a suede material, which isn't bad. It's not terrible quality. It's not super amazing. Uh, the white leather on the toe box actually feels pretty nice though. Back to the elephant print though, it's a little bit different than some of the elephant print on say the, the Air Jordans. Like the elephant print on this pair at least looks like it's like bled in a lot more and kind of more dispersed than like the fine lines of the elephant print like on some of the other pairs that I've of retros and stuff that I've got. But even from Jordan Retro to Jordan Retro, uh, the elephant print can appear differently. And I've actually seen it where somebody got a left shoe and a right shoe where the elephant print looked totally different as well. It's just kind of a gamble. In fact, let me take a look at the other one right here and see how it looks. Even on mine, it looks a little bit different from left to right. Primarily right behind the Nike logo, it's definitely different on one than the other. It's more bled out on one, uh, at least, than the, the second shoe. And even on the panel right here on the side, it's like super bled out and then not bled out on the side. So the elephant print to me just does look a little bit off. Maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe not, but it does look a little bit different. It's like a Where's Waldo sort of game, trying to find uh, something that's different on both of them. If you don't look at them as closely, I mean, it's an Atmos dunk, basically. But now that I pulled both of them out of the box, this one definitely has a huge dent on the toe box. Uh, not super awesome looking. I kind of wonder how like StockX authenticates these things. But this one has like a little bit of uh, gunk on the bottom of this one, and they sent it right over. You know, some of it is just the way that the shoes are produced. This one also has a, uh, a definite crease here on the toe box, but not from somebody wearing it, just from warping from packaging, it looks like. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of one of those ones where it's like, oh, is that flawed or not? Ultimately, I don't really care because it's a pair that I plan on wearing, and this crease is going to get 10,000 times worse when I wear it, especially right across here. So I'm not overly concerned. But for those people that buy something from StockX and you get out that microscope and are looking, you know, some things that you could be displeased by. But sometimes I want to question like how some pairs get through and other pairs do not. Ultimately, it's just a crapshoot. I mean, it's manual review process, so understandable. Uh, that things fall through the crack left or right. Something I haven't noticed before in the dunk back here, they actually have some reinforcement for some padding on the heel collar of the shoe, which is uh, a fun little look to it right there. But this colorway is sick though, what do you guys think? I don't see any Atmos branding on the shoe, nothing on the box as well. So I don't know if it's an official Atmos collab, I don't think it is. I feel like there's some blurred lines there. Sometimes Nike has been releasing their own products that have that original inspiration from Atmos's line. But I think that some people feel a certain type of way about when they do something like that. Just basically stealing like the idea from their other products and then making more product uh, directly from the inspiration from something that somebody else collaborated on them with. I mean, Atmos is not gonna get a cut of these if they're Atmos inspired, but they don't say Atmos unless Atmos truly did have a collaboration with them. Uh, which I don't actually know if this is official, but regardless, it's official because Nike made it. I think that's the way that they um, approach it. But I like the fact that it came with some gray laces, although I'm definitely rocking with the black laces on these. But what do you guys think? What was the last pair of uh, sneakers that you paid resale on? Drop a comment in the comment section because I'm curious to see which ones you guys actually uh, decided to roll with uh, on the aftermarket. I used to just only get things at retail and that was all I could do. But now it's a different world, man. So if you want a pair of sneakers, then I set my price on StockX. I set it and forget it. And then if the price of the market shifts down, then I get my shoe. If not, I don't get my shoe. As an example, I haven't got any of the new Sakai waffles yet. But yeah, man, what was the last pair you guys paid resale on? Drop a comment in the comment section, let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and check back soon. I have a bunch more content that I have planned for you guys. Whether or not I can get through it all is another question because I've been swamped with work and family and everything else. Even though I'm like quarantined, I'm like busier than ever, which is crazy. So if you guys like the fact that I'm still trying to crank out some of these videos, drop a like on the video. It's especially hard, and, and I know that you parents out there can understand this, but it's especially hard when I have two kids that are five and under. 
Like, man, it's just like, I can't be like, just go play in the other room and then I'm going to go ahead and knock out some content and then I'll go back and check on the kids. It's constantly having to micromanage them and making sure that they're uh, taken care of, which of course I love to do, but it takes away from my creative process. And so hopefully once the kids get a little bit bigger, I'll be able to create more videos that I actually really, really want to create, do more film stuff in it, uh, which would be fun. But uh, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. For those that, that, uh, that liked the video, appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of the day. Happy holidays, and we'll see you back for some more videos. Peace, guys.